This is day 13 of our European tour, October 2009. We visited the Vatican in Rome. We crossed over from the city of Rome to the city of the Vatican, and it happens to be the smallest country in the world in a two mile border within Rome in Italy. This is a Google image of the Vatican City, and if you pause this, you can get a better understanding of the setup of the Vatican and St. Peter's Basilica. This is St. Peter's Square, and as you can see, there's a whole heap of chairs set up for a service. And, um, this is St. Peter's Basilica, and we had to line up. You can see a line of people um, to enter the building. The first St. Peter's Basilica was started by Emperor Constantine in the 300 AD period. This is uh, the roof of the entranceway to the Basilica. This is St. Peter's Baltichin, or basically the hallway to the dome, with corridors leading, leading off from it. St. Peter's Basilica was obviously named after Peter, one of Jesus' disciples. The current building was started in 1506, and there have been a number of architects since then, and in 1547, Michelangelo took charge of it. It took 126 years to complete. And here's a photograph of my wife and myself in that main hall. And all around this part of the building were these wonderful paintings and statues and sculptures and religious ornaments. The centrepiece of this area was the St. Peter's Aldichen, or canopy over an altar. And here it is, if you pause this right now, you'll see that canopy over the altar. Then above it was, of course, the dome. This is directly above the tomb of St. Peter. Peter the Apostle, and directly below the dome of the Vatican, and it's where the Pope conducts the Mass. The dome is attributed to Michelangelo and was completed in 1590 by one of his pupils. If you pause the video about now, you'll be able to see the dome or cupola. There are six circular areas and they're all covered with busts and frescoes and figurines. And I know there's six of them. And you can get up to the top using an elevator or climb, climb some stairs to reach the top of the copula and we'll go and have a view of uh, a panoramic view of the Vatican and the There is a tiny There is a shot today. The head. She was the mother of the Emperor Constantine. She found the cross of Jesus. A fragment of the holy wood of the cross of Jesus a shell today. Behind you, Longinus, Saint Longinus was the soldier who tested the death of Jesus on the cross. Using his spirit, fragments of his weapon a shell today.
The Vatican is filled with hundreds of grottos or tombs of um, prominent people, including Christana from Sweden and obviously the tomb of Peter and also the Queen Charlotte of Cyprus and also of course all the previous popes who are now dead are buried here as well. This sculpture of the Mother Mary and Jesus Christ was created by Michelangelo. Peter was crucified in 64 CE and buried on Vatican Hill and that's the location of the current St. Peter's Basilica completed in the 16th century. Once we finished our tour, we exited the building on the right. There was a walkway that you had to follow. And while we walked around St. Peter's Square, we took a video of the people who were lined up and heading for other places. We headed for the Sistine Chapel, which was supposedly only a two minute walk. But it was a lot longer than that over cobblestone roadway in a rather hot day and a couple of the older people in the group got a bit dehydrated. In the distance you can see the obelisk in the plaza of San Petro. Surrounding St Peter's Square were the two colonnades with 300 odd um, columns. And on top of the colonnades were 64 statues of saints and martyrs. Every, every Sunday, when the Pope is in Rome and in good shape, he gives the blessing from the second window, top floor, from the right hand corner, which is the window of the study room of the Pope. Clear? This way. There are two granite fountains constructed by a bloke called Bertini in 1675. Bertini also constructed the whole of St. Peter's Square and it resembles two open arms to welcome people to the uh, St. Peter's Basilica. And here are some random photos rather than videos of different things at the Vatican. The bronze doors, which are guarded by the Vatican police or Vatican guard. Some of the artwork inside the St. Peter's Basilica. A long shot of St. Peter's Basilica with the dome on top. And then the residence where the Pope gave his addresses um, and that's the second window from the right that's his room not sure what this uniform was but it's definitely not a, the guards or the Vatican police and here is the shot of the dome Here uh, is a shot of the colonnades outside in St. Peter's Square and a shot of the obelisk with the dome in the background and one of the graves, I'm not sure whether this was St. Peter's grave but I've forgotten. Here's a shot of the canopy over the altar, 
just below the dome and above the tomb of St. Peter. Another shot of the altar and a, a few shots, photographs of around the hall area near the dome. The video was produced by myself and it's the end of another exciting video of day 13 of our European tour, October 2009, we visited Vatican City.